I had the chip in the yips there for a while, but I actually bet it. And I'm gonna show you today how I did, because if you've been watching the videos recently, I've been chipping a lot better, all that sort of stuff. And I, you know, I'm follow, if you're following the journey, if you're following along and seeing me play better golf, why not show you how I actually did it? Because it did, it took a while, it took hundreds and thousands of chip shots, but I broke it down to a very simple way of doing it. I did it in my back garden, but I'm at the beautiful Moy Valley practice grounds here today, and I'm gonna show you exactly how I did it. Okay, if you're unaware, Hack Motion did send out. They actually have a new Hack Motion. It comes in a nice, beautiful case. But this is what I used to actually get rid of the yips, and I'm gonna show you how I actually did it. Obviously, when you have the yips, like, you're pulling away and you're doing all this sort of stuff. So I wanted to concentrate on ball first contact. That was my goal, ball first contact. I have the Hack Motion on the wrist. It's set up. Ball first contact was key, because then I could build from there. And if you've watched some of the latest videos, like I'm back flopping it over bunkers and doing all these shots again. And, and, and it's literally from grounding myself in ball first contact. So I have something to go back on. And all I did was, that's a bit far away. <laughs> Out my back garden, all I had was a little net, uh, basically a little football net, half circle that sat on the ground. And I chipped into that, like some of the sessions would be like 250 chip shots, just to, just to put that in context. And that would happen at least once a day for multiple weeks, sometimes twice a day. But we have a beautiful practice facility here, so I'm gonna use this, show you. And all I was looking for was a flex at impact. That's what I was looking for, to understand club face position and you can hear the ding, you can hear, feel the nice, like I've got a 60 degree in hand and that's rolling out. So at impact, you can see there, I was 18 degrees flexed. Now we're practicing here, so it's just getting that, knowing that motion like, and getting that feel. But you'll see with that, with the reaction of the 60, it's actually running out, which is nice, it's not spinning up like. And that's something you learn like, um, with doing this, you know? Like they're beautiful little shots, all going around the hole. That was a nine degree flex. So you can tell that I've practiced this quite a bit, but it doesn't start out like that. And that's why having something like this and taking, your mind off it externally really helped me. So I couldn't do that at the start. So the first thing I did when I was, uh, it was really bad. It's a really bad feeling. If anybody suffered from me, you know what I mean? All I did was hold the impact position I wanted and I literally turned my body trying to get that feeling. Now I'm after duffing that, but like I literally, that's what I did. And I did that over and over again. That was five degrees flexed. So I'd literally hold the position, turn and turn through. And that got me through. And you can see those shots are nearly the same. And that got me through. That got me started on the hips. When I got that face first contact or ball first contact from just using my body, no arms, it really gave me the confidence to to do that and I did that for hundreds and hundreds and you can see that those chip shots are landing pretty close like but hundreds and hundreds of chip shots just holding the position turning and turning through now I didn't hit that one great like this isn't you get, like this is just a start but you can see there like there's no release or anything there it's just learning that impact position it really, really, that drill there really, it's not even a drill, I just made it up. I don't know if I did make it up. <laughs> I just wanted to hold a position like that one's minus nine. But you can see it's, it's rolling nice. Now obviously taking that out onto the golf course, you want to be a bit looser. So once I got that, I did actually, the second thing that I worked on was really, trying to be a bit more relaxed. Being relaxed is, 
is so key. And I wanted a, my thought in my head, to be quite honest, was Shane Lowry. <laughs> He's nice and relaxed. If you ever see him, it's big, long, lazy. Get that feel. That's, that's the feel I wanted. I didn't want rigid arms or anything like that. I just wanted a nice, relaxed feel. I wanted to be relaxed within myself. And that was it. But learning that position that I wanted to be in, it's more like a knuckles down to the ground feel with a little twist here. That's, that's exactly the feel that I twist knuckles down and the ball shoots out, go in the hole. <laughs> it's pretty close. You can see, and that's, that's where I, the hack motion actually has learned, taught me face control, a little bit of face control. Understanding that this grip here is actually gonna do stuff with the face. It's been really cool. Like twist, and you can see that ball running now. Look, get in. There, oh, lift there. But like you can see, I'm just hitting balls here. That face control, they're running out. This is a 60 degree. You would expect it to spin up, but now you're learning to chip and run it. And look how consistent these are. These are one after the other, and they're just going toward, tracking towards the hole. This is how I, I didn't just get rid of the yips, but I got back to where I, I somewhat was, even better, I feel, than I was. And it was just, this was all done in my back garden. Now, if you have these facilities, you can do it here. But that's, that's kind of the two steps. And I'll give you the last step now, because the last step I think is key. Um, so one sec, I'll get the balls. <laughs> The last thing, so once I got that face control down, getting ball first contact before learning anything else or getting back to normality, it gives you something to fall back on it, just in case. You know, if you get nervous out there, you're in competition, all that sort of stuff. Yeah, to me, it was vital learning that ball first contact, how to control that face, how to take the spin off, how to get the ball to roll out with a 60. Just learning that, and it really lowers trajectory. You, you can play around with trajectory. You don't. Have, it doesn't have to be low, but you can play around with it. But that's vital. Then that kind of Shane Lowry feel, the long and lazy, just just real kind of lazy. But that kind of wasn't it for me. I was still taking big divots and chunking the ground. You can see, like, there's no marks here in the ground, and. I can get, like, this depends on the player as well. I can get very steep and left. So, like, if you watch the videos, I, I have a tendency to come across the top. I do that in my short game as well. But then, with the face control that I was getting from the hack motion, with the long and lazy feel that I was getting from Shane Lowry, I added in, like, trying to play a mini draw because that would shallow me out. And that, that helped tremendously. I was brushing the ground more, I was getting better contact. And just, just like, like I was playing a little draw, you know, whether or not it is, I don't know. It's just a feeling, you now after launching that. But that little feel takes the spin off the ball. You can see it running out. They're lovely little chips. And that wouldn't be possible if I didn't go through those steps, you know. And I know it seems mental just holding a position and then rotating your body, but I had <coughs> an awful tendency to stay here and then just to do that and throw the club at it because I was getting so scared of it and probably many of you are and blading over the green. You, you, if you've watched the videos, you, will, you, can, you can relate and you'll know what I'm talking about. But having the long, lazy face control, Shane Lowry feel, beautiful little chip shots. Minus seven flexion. So there is shuffling going on. There really is, and you can tell I've practiced it because they're all coming up with, the, with that sort of uh, flex, flexion. But once, but once I got that, and once I got that feeling and everything like that, my confidence did start to come back in the short game. And in newer videos, you'll see that I'm opening up the blade and everything like that. And everything, 
it's just it's a lot easier now because I have that that kind of confidence again. I can send it up high, I can send it low. You know, you can do those little drop shots. It's it's worked a treat and got me back to where I need to be, I want to be with the short game. You know, the hack motion has been pretty pretty important in that, like, because some of the sessions are like, the 250 plus chip shots, <laughs> you know? I did tear up the back garden doing it as well because I was taking so many divots because I wasn't shallow. Get in, get in. But that's how I did it, like minus two. You can tell they're lovely running now. They're, they're holding pace. So I really, really would say, if you are suffering from the hips, those three steps, that body movement, quite simple. Hold it in the position that you want. Turn and turn through until you get really confident that and have your low point dialed. It's another massively important thing. Low point, I didn't touch on it, but you'll get it. You can see how they're squirting out there, lovely like. Then that long, lazy feel of Shane Lowry, just everything nice and relaxed, nothing stiff, and then shallowing it out. And then just nice, nice chip shots, you know? So if you've enjoyed the video, guys, like it, subscribe, comment the of the ifs. Did you get rid of them? Hack motion, there is a discount code down below. I wanted to make this video purely because of you guys. If you've been watching my journey, you know that I've been suffering from the yips and you can tell by the dispersion and me nearly holding a lot of these that I'm not suffering from it anymore. That's the tree step process that I used to do it. It didn't happen overnight. It was a long time. So it was a long time, a lot of work, but I got there and that's what I did. So now you can do it too. And I'll see you again in the next one. Bye.